my biggest two issues are sort of simplifying an entire regime and using North Korean stories for entertainment. I see Kim Jong-un's photos every single day monitoring state media. And I do think every day that, wow, he lost a lot of weight. But I have to be cautious when I am saying that because I risk adding too much interpretation. But it is not too stupid for athletes to talk about whether it was health issue related or he lost weight intentionally because his health is actually one of the biggest risks when it comes to East Asian security. If journalists um, can resist the temptation to derive easy conclusions, there's a very strong imagery there. He's, let's think about the political symbolism of that. The fact that he's trying to look more like his grandfather and not his father. His grandfather is still being worshiped as a hero in North Korea. One of the most sensationalized stories were things like how Kim Jong-un, after ordering an execution of his uncle, fed him to a pack of hungry dogs. And this was never verified. That official returned to state media after a while, and she is now one of the top officials. I'm sorry, I, I will say this. It, it is it is just a, a great way to get the clicks. I think what drives the popularity of North Korea stories and Western media is the frozen in time element. There just aren't that many regimes left that are as isolated and defied the um, globalization and Westernization. The Western media getting these stories wrong um, is of course tied to the difficulty of obtaining access or difficulty of finding good sources. Little hints coming out of state media, appearances, photos, videos, texts, those are little details that we should baseline as North Korea watchers. There are a lot of purge stories when it comes to North Korea in a very brutal fashion. It comes from the history of North Korea indeed purging a lot of officials. We do have to pay attention to any signs of food shortages. Right now, with Australia no longer supplying China with coal, it's the North Koreans. They've emerged as a major supplier of coal that could uh, potentially show us geopolitical sort of situation in East Asia.